Welcome to A Spark of Inspiration. A Spark of Inspiration is a series designed to give you inspirational and motivational advice on a variety of topics ranging from careers, health and wellness, and family, just to name a few. In this series, we will share stories and provide you with tips to guide you on the path to success. In this video, we'll discuss authenticity in the workplace. A discussion on authenticity starts with purpose. I consider myself a person led by purpose. I feel my mission in life is to help people overcome fear and truly shine with their gifts and talents to be their authentic self. In a nutshell, I love helping people to grow, develop, and be successful. With that in mind, throughout my career, it has been hard to find a place where I fit in. Being true to myself is important to me, and it always has been. I'm not a person who has an on switch and becomes who others expect or want me to be. For this reason, it has been hard to dig roots in any company. I'm a person who values integrity, and if I work for a company that does not allow me to be authentic, I tend to find myself moving on. What does it mean to be authentic? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines authenticity as true to one's own personality, spirit, or character, is sincere and authentic with no pretensions. This graphic shows that authenticity touches upon many aspects in our lives. Authenticity means you are trustworthy, you are transparent. Authenticity means you treat people equitably and it shows. Authenticity means you are at the core genuine. Genuine means being genuine when the culture does not value authenticity. So how do culture and authenticity connect? The Merriam-Webster has a few definitions for culture. The first one, the customary beliefs, social forms, and material traits of a racial, religious, or social group. Second being the set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterize an institution or organization, such as a corporate culture focused on the bottom line. Third being the set of values, conventions, or social practices associated with a particular field, so within an industry, or activity. And the last being the integrated pattern of human knowledge, belief, and behavior that depends upon the capacity for learning and transmitting knowledge to succeeding generations. Given the rise of corporate culture, culture there is an emphasis placed on acclimating to the culture. Acclimating means becoming accustomed to a new climate or environment. In this example, it means understanding how to behave in the workplace. For an example, the company I work for has orientation sessions designed to help new employees understand what is acceptable behavior and hone into the core values you are expected to display as a representative of the company. To further support these values and behaviors in action, the company has a facility, it's a learning facility, where employees are trained in corporate strategy and values. The corporate experience is in everything you do at this learning facility. It's where you get your food, it's in your hoteling room, it's in your classrooms. Throughout your entire learning experience at this facility, you learn as an employee what it means to be a part of this firm from the moment you step on foot to the facility to the time you leave. Another way to support acclimatization into the company culture is through the use of corporate mottos, things, and languages. All of those contribute to what I call groupthink. To me, groupthink is when new ideas or new words are unacceptable. It means this is the way we have always done it, and this is the way we will always do it. It means going against the grain leaves you ostracized. You miss out on opportunities. Um, and you're and you do not and you are not heard if 
you do not speak the language. For an example, at the company I work for, Synergy, Align, Innovation, Agile, those are all common words to say and use during meetings or crafting of corporate documents. Not speaking in that context hurts you and your brand. People only understand what they can connect to and not speaking this language, not speaking within cultural norms threatens your future within the firm. So you have a decision to either be a part of a group and be accepted or to be authentic and stand out. You know, culture makes you not want to be authentic because corporate culture has a way of weeding out those individuals who don't fit in. It makes it harder to find a place to fit in if you go, if you often go with the status quo because it's easier to fit in rather than being your authentic self. So in an article by Katerina Bauer, to be or not to be authentic in defense of authenticity as an ethical ideal, um, she mentions that being true to oneself as a person is not simple at all, not as simple as the pop culture discourse may suggest. She then says um, that the elaborated ideal of being an authentic person is a very complex and demanding ideal, but per perhaps that is just how our ethical ideals about ourselves should be, meaning that we should go against the grain and be authentic so that we are contributing in the best way to help further society. Going against culture, corporate culture, is hard and to most people not ideal. To go with ideals means not being authentic, not being the person you were purposed and destined to be. At our core, we all, we all just want to fit in and do great work. So in a TED Talk by Carissa Thacker titled Why Authenticity Matters, um, she discusses in her talk that we are driven to build close relationships, do meaningful work, and be true to ourselves. There are times when the work environment feels like defying gravity because we as a people are driven towards doing meaningful, meaningful work. We experience bad things in the workplace, we get kicked around, we learn to adapt to the corporate environment, and we armor up by protecting ourselves from harm. She mentions that we have to figure out what matters to us and our purpose in life and to act on it, even if it means doing things that scare you. Lastly, she mentions that practicing authenticity means staying in touch with what matters and to always, always some courage, stand up and follow through when it matters the most. have to be authentic in order to live out your purpose. At work, I learned how to find purpose in the present. I network to find like-minded people. It is often through the stories we share where, that we begin a friendship and that we learn that we have suffered through the same struggles. And most importantly, that we are not alone. There are others out there who understand and are ready to support us. This circle of support becomes my safe place in the midst of corporate culture, I may fail to fit in. Connecting with my friends supports me in my purpose and gives me the courage to be authentic, especially given that authenticity goes against the culture. Lastly, I just wanna leave you with a few tips to help you practice authenticity in the workplace. First, be true to yourself, be purposeful in all your actions. Remember that being authentic means that it touches upon all aspects of your life. Know yourself, including your gifts and abilities. Do those things that energize you and do those things that are strengths so that you are contributing your best self all the time. Make sure you match your actions to words, meaning if you say you're going to do it, back it up by doing it. Make sure you share your gift with others. When you share your gifts, it also energizes you and it helps you to stand out in a good way. It shows that being authentic brings diversity of thought and actions and diversity contributes to the bigger picture in a far better way than going along with groupthink. So authenticity isn't about being the real me, it's about being true to our purpose and values that drive us by Tanvir Nessier. So my final thought, 
I want to leave you with is I am a firm believer in that authenticity attracts authenticity. Continue to be authentic until you meet someone or someone who are willing to give you a chance and support you. You will find them and they will find you. It takes courage to be different, but as the research suggests, there are more benefits to being authentic in the workplace than not. Thank you. So Inspiration is a coaching company, and we're here to help you disrupt your status quo, help you break out of that norm and really go after those things you want in life. Um, if you want to just sit down and have a 30-minute conversation with us, we'd be happy to to speak with you and, and uh, uncover what energizes you and help you find that path to help you be successful in life. Um, we are at www.inspiration.com. God bless. Take care.